Hello, Roblox Studio plugins, probably one of the most important parts of Studio. They allow you to do so many things that you can't just do with the start normal tools. Uh, I'll explain to you some of my six favorite plugins that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Starting off with number one, the part picker plugin. Very important plugin. I use it every day for so many things. Like let's take for example on this Jeep Cherokee. Let's say I wanted to make it blue. Uh, currently red like instead of selecting each part and trying to recolor it manually instead you can take your part plugin part picker choose pick part and then select a part and now you can choose the choose. it will like automatically select plugin uh, parts that share a similar property with the one you've selected so like I selected this wedge right here that's red it's now going to select every part in the game that's also red and you can also choose ones that are only wedges and are only select parts that are red and wed and are red wedges. Uh, you can also do material transparency. The amount of things you can do is insane. You can also change this, like if I wanted to change the transparency of the glass, glass material, the color, transparency right there. Now I have all the glass selected. I can change the transparency. Back to making the car blue. I can make the car blue. But what if I wanted to make the cladding? the gray part rusty like if it's an old Jeep well I can just take the plug in select the part make it choose every part that's that same color run filter and now I can make it rusty and then do the same thing with these ones too there are limitations though like sometimes those select parts that happen to be the same color another thing to be careful about with this plugin is that if you have two and you only want to configure one if I only change this Jeep and I select it it's gonna also choose this one by accident so there's a thing you can do where you can change the parrot and they'll select it that one only but it has its limitations but I use this plugin every day for almost everything number two is Archimedes specifically Archimedes this is a really useful plugin. Uh, it allows you to create cop duplicates of objects on like on rotations of a certain one. So like if I put this one part here, activate Archimedes, I can like create duplicates that are rotated on a certain pivot. You can also choose different directions, like so many different directions. Uh, this is a really useful plugin if you're trying to make any curved object without using a cylinder. Um, like you can make a wheel. Choose the side. Maybe make it a bit smaller. And there you go. Really useful plugin. I use this to make certain things like uh, this bike here. That's where I made the wheel. Um, with less parts. Another thing I did was with this tractor. How I did this area here. This was Ar with Archimedes. It's also great for uh, roads. It can be hard to make a road because like you don't want to have just 90 degree angle roads. You just want to create a nice looking road that actually looks curvy and drivable. You can do that really nicely with Archimedes. Number three is actually more than one is all the Stravent plugins. Reflect, resize line, and gap fill. These are so useful. I almost I use this every day too, as well. Like, if a part and it doesn't quite get out of here, if it doesn't like quite align, pretend it doesn't align. You can use resize the line, and it'll automatically resize the parts to do it properly. I can. There you go. Um, here I'll show an ex example with this road. Let's say you're trying to connect these two pieces of road. Um, and it's kind of hard to do because like, you can't get these perfectly aligned. See? No good. You can use resize align to make it perfect. There you go. Um, another thing is gap fill. It does something similar, but not quite similar. Resize align will resize the two parts. Gap fill will create new parts to fill in the gap, as in the name. 
Uh, this works good, but in certain scenarios. I also use it a lot for various things like aircraft. This V-22 Osprey uses laced gap fill all over, especially like on this part right here. Get rid of this and you can see how I, I made it. Gap fill, boom. But not sticking out like that. I don't know what that happens. There you go. Last one is Stravent Reflect. It mirrors objects really easy, like on this blazer, if I'm building it, and let's say I've made the doors on only one side, I wanna move them to the other side. Well, this side view mirror, I don't really wanna like rotate that around and all that stuff. If I, can, I can take Reflect and it'll perfectly ref mirror it. And just like that, it did that all by it on its own. Number four is Camera Waypoint Jumper. A great one for uh, Vignettes. Um, once you install it, it won't be up here, up here. What you have to do is press C, and it'll bring up the Waypoint Jumper GUI. From here, you can create a waypoint. Like, let's say I wanted to get a picture of this tractor, but I want it to be at this specific angle. It won't work here, it won't work there. It has to be at this specific angle. But I want to go like work on something else. But I want to keep this angle. Waypoint Jumper will create a waypoint of your angle. Just press C, new waypoint. You can name it, tractor, submit. And so now let's say I want to work out the tractor, like make the seat a different color. And now I need to get back to my camera angle. I can just go to the tractor and it'll bring me back exactly to where it was. Great if you want to work on something, or like make any last minute changes. Number five is camera light. Very dark. And it's hard to build. Easy solution is get camera light. And there you go. Now you can build in the dark. Um. I like to use the old version because it has a it has a spotlight, but there is a new version which creates an omnidirectional beam. Both versions are good. I just prefer this one. And you can turn it off anytime. Finally, as an honorable mention, I have Team Create with hats. It allows you to add um, some hats on your Team Create character. Very nice plugin. It does cost Robux, so I forget how much. Here you can add hats. You can paste your access ready. Um, and then I think, yeah, you can preview your hats. Here, here's what my guy looks like. Um, paste your hat ID. There we go. Okay, now we have our hat on. Uh, you can brief, you can change its offset. Like right now it's sitting way too low. Try that. Too much. Let's check point eight. Nope. Zero point eight. There you go. Now I'm wearing a hat. Very nice plugin. Beware of that when you do leave Team Crate. Sometimes it leaves the hats behind.